No time for a martini, remain standing. It's a thrifty quickie on Mid-Century Wasted. Another day, another trip to Savers. Starting off in the hard goods once again. I'm on an end cap here. It's like the blue end. I liked these glasses. I liked how they were kind of alternating colors, but when I looked closely at them, I noticed that they were flashed, meaning painted on color. So I put them back, not good quality. At the time in the store, I had no idea what these said on here, but now I can see they clearly say Peru. These glasses have a Manhattan logo on them, and I realized it is from the Woody Allen movie Manhattan from 1979. Don't know why. I liked these glasses very much. They were bubbly and ripply and they looked vintage. They were kind of dirty on the bottom, but they're clear glass and that doesn't really sell very well. So I put them back. This Grecian looking glass was interesting, but since it was just a single, I didn't think that had a lot of resale value in it. Speaking of lack of resale value, let's admire this monstrosity, this terrible craft project gone wrong. It looks like maybe the plate had slipped as they were gluing it together because it's very much off-centered and very horrible. Everyone just put down the glue, please. This Winnie the Pooh mug was terribly, terribly chipped. I loved this little wooden box for $1.99. It was very small and very intricately carved in a way that I don't usually see. So I picked this up. They just brought out a fresh cart. So I'm rummaging through here. It was a lot of nice stuff actually, but not the kind of stuff that I normally pick up or know anything about. And then I filmed the ground for a little while. So I'm showing you what I picked up in the meantime when I thought I was filming the shelves, but I wasn't. So I got that tin. Here I am looking at this little little vintage lampshade. It's $4.99, which is a little, maybe a little steep for a thrift store, but still good value for this. It's one of those little clip-on kind, and you never know when you're going to need a little tiny lampshade, so I grabbed that. I've recently become obsessed with little miniatures and display shelves to display them off, so when I found this, I was pretty excited. I didn't like the swirly, squiggly top part, but I was looking at it, and I think I could rip it off, and it would still be stable, so I picked that up for myself. Here is a piece of art glass. I liked the colors of it. I just didn't think it was really a quality piece of glass. You could see the rough pontal on the bottom, but I did like the shape and the blue and purple color. $9.49 though, I'm definitely passing on that one. I did pick up this little tiny pink vase, however. This art glass vase looked like it was better quality at least. It still might be made in China. I don't really know. It's probably a newer piece, but I liked the size of it and it was just pretty so I, I grabbed that. I was looking at these little Christmas glasses trying to figure out if they were blendo and somebody just decorated them with ribbon and things. I'm still not entirely sure. I ended up leaving them behind because I just didn't know. I liked these bird and dried flower art shadow box pieces but upon further inspection and I had no idea what this hologram sticker thing said at the back. I couldn't read it. Looking at them closely the flowers were silk flowers and it was just kind of not very like nice looking. It was just kind of cheap kind of, I guess. So I passed on those. Here's a really old brass footed bowl. That was kind of nice. I don't know. Maybe eh, it was a little too expensive, I guess. $6.99 for that piece. Here's a little drive by morning inspiration on your coffee mug. I love these clear plates with the little cut starbursts on there. I just wish stuff like this sold for any kind of value and these as well. I think these are kind of depression era, but again, just not any value in there for resale. This tea set looks like it's never been used. Still in the box. $39.99 though. I did not know enough about that to pick that up at that price. I did like these little plates though. $3.99 for the pair. I did pick those up. I was thinking that these canister sets looked like a green version of Hanky the Christmas Pooh from South Park, if you know what I'm talking about. And as soon as I put them down and walked away, some lady came over and talked about how much she loved them and how cute they were. And I was just like, mm -hmm, okay, great. Here is an absolutely gorgeous Aura Fours crystal bowl. You can see it's signed on the bottom there, Aura Fours. This was $11.99 and I looked it up in the store. It's actually worth a good amount of money. So I actually bought this totally out of my wheelhouse, but I'm kind of filling a cart right now, you guys. And now I'm looking through the bags and I see some really nice tacky plastic Christmas with the foil and I'm getting excited. Okay. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I am crazy about. It's cardboard and it's not meant to last forever. 
cart and I love it. Look at how full my cart is getting, my God. And now I'm finding more cardboard, disposable, vintage goodies. And there's even antique store price tags on there still. So, you know, I'm getting this baggie too. And actually one of the ornaments in there was broken. So they gave me a percent off of that one as well. So that was awesome. Now I'm just digging through the bags again. I see something tucked in the back. So I have to do the bag shuffle. These are some little cups like a little child's tea set maybe but if you can see on there one of them has been repaired almost in that like japanese way where they put the gold in the crack of the repair even though that's cool and interesting when they do that i didn't want to pick these up for resale because they were broken same with these tupperware measuring spoons and measuring cups the cups looked like they were in decent condition but the spoons were missing the little ring that holds them all together and i wasn't sure that it was a complete set either so I passed on those as well. Now I'm noticing that there's a lot more of these dolls. If you watched the last Thrifty Quickie episode, there were lots of bags of dolls on the wall and now I'm seeing lots and lots more. So it's again, one of those things where someone probably donated an entire collection. I'm able to pass on these even though it is an entire collection, just because I don't know anything about dolls. I saw this cow salt and pepper shaker the other day with its broken counterpart. So I see they rebagged it with some other random single shakers. Here's more dolls again. These ones looked very old, their eyes opened and closed and then more dolls. And so I'm just kind of looking through to see if there's anything except dolls in the bag area here. Oh, looky more tacky plastic Christmas goodness. That's fantastic. This one has a big bow on it and another plastic candle. So yep, into the cart. Okay, now here's where this shopping trip went a little bit off the rails. This was $12.99. It's a giant crate, as you can see. And I could tell it was military because it talks about, I don't know, howlitzers or something like that on the outside of it. I sent a picture of it to Blake to see if he would want it because he's into military stuff. He told me it was an ammunition box, like for those big giant, I don't know, missile type shell things. Don't quote me on any of this. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, he said, yeah, get it. So my already stuffed cart somehow had to fit this giant box into it, which was quite interesting. I also really liked this lamp. Now that I know I am selling at the Long Beach Antique Market, AKA the Long Beach Flea Market, I'm looking for things that are bigger and bulkier. Now I already have plenty of big and bulky things already that I need to sell there, but at least it opens the opportunity for me to buy a big lamp if I so choose. I ended up passing on this one actually, but you know, my options are open. This hot air balloon rainbow bear fabric was screaming the 80s. In fact, it kind of looked familiar to me. I also found this complete set of coasters. I thought that was kind of surprising. I didn't buy this. I don't know if that's something that has value as far as resale goes. What I did buy though was this casserole cradle with lovely wooden handles. It was only $4.49 plus my 20% off. I don't know exactly what it goes to, but I always pick these up whenever I find them. I also picked up this lovely art glass cup. It had Bulacante and Millie Fiore in it. And then I also got this vintage looking gold red and white cup as well. I was looking around to see if there were any kind of matches to these like a pair or anything but I decided to go for it and just get the singles. Then I found this beautiful wooden tray with these cutouts in it. It said it was made in India. I love the color of the wood. It's kind of a small size so that's why I was kind of contemplating it for a while but I ended up picking that up too. I'm sure styled properly somebody could definitely find a use for that. I found some BS but I left that on the shelves because lord knows I have enough of that in my life already. Now, this is my favorite find of the entire shopping trip. These are little porcelain cats. You see how they nestle in upon each other or, or one sits over the other one. They do have a sticker on the bottom. They are marked Naman Israel, fine porcelain or something like that. And these are actually worth a pretty penny. So I was super excited to get those. I thought this was pretty funny for anybody that has a sense of humor. It's a piggy bank from the Long Beach Police Department. You know, police, pigs, haha. -ha. 
This painted tray is something that I looked at for a while. It has this provenance on the bottom, which always kind of gets me. It was very beautifully done, but it's just so far away from the kind of thing that I normally pick up. Now I did get something else super fancy on this trip, but you haven't seen it yet. And uh, I just, it was too many fancy things for me for one trip. So I passed on it. I also passed on this weirdly painted shell dish. It was so crazed. It, it was beyond nicely crazed. This was damage craze. I grabbed these really fast because I picked up another set that was just a little bit taller a few days ago and I think that they match. So yes please. Now we got more. Here's another shot of my ridiculously stuffed cart. Can't remember the last time I stuffed a cart like this and I'm not done because I found this little plaque too. It has an Inesco sticker on the back so I'm also getting that. There's that little brick elf if you guys saw me post about that on Instagram. That guy is still there. And I'm digging into the back shelf here because I see a beautiful Murano bowl, but unfortunately it has a massive chip, like a big chunk out of it, right in that pretty loopy overflow waterfall part. That's really sad. So I had to pass on that. Here's the cart shot one more time. I'm about to do a haul because of some of this stuff that's in here, you never saw me pick up. And I realized that after the fact. So I'm doing a haul to show you everything that I got. So I've already started decorating just very quickly with these little shelves that I got. This is the spoon shelf. And as you can see, I'm using it to hold handkerchiefs. I've seen this online, a bunch of people have done it. And since a lot of people don't collect silver spoons anymore, those little decorative spoons, this is a cool way to use it. And then this little shelf, like I said, I took the little scrolly piece off the top and I like the way it looks much better, much cleaner. I would take that one off the top too, and I still might, but it's just on there a little bit better. Like it's a little harder to get that one off. Plus the tops of the handkerchiefs will be up there. So I might just pull them up a little bit higher um, to just kind of block it. And then it won't really be as noticeable. Cause I just, I don't like that curly country swirly kind of look. I like the clean, just clean lines look. There's that piece, if you remember that from a while back. Yeah, so this is this is coming along. I've got my poor plant there, and that's a little corner of my office. There's a little sneak into my life there. So today was pretty excessive. This is the haul, plus the wooden pieces that I just showed. My total spend was $109.64. I can't remember the last time I had a $100 day at Savers. Usually it's like 20 or 30. So this was a killer, killer, killer day. Let me show you what was in the bags. This was one of the $3.99 bags. And here's the tacky plastic, amazing goodness. I'll zoom out a little bit for you. Sorry, it's just junk everywhere on this table. But yeah, that's, um, they're a little crumpled and crunched and not in perfect condition. A couple of little things, doodads are missing, but overall still good tacky plastic goodness here was the other bag it was a bow and a stocking this piece alone is the the money maker these pieces here in this bag this was the one that had a broken piece and they gave it to me for 199 not 399 look at santa oh my gosh the little bell on it this obviously came from an antique store somebody gave up on it what did they have on it um jingle bell santa nope no price and then the snowman too aren't those great snowman and then also a j for jamie that's a uh, harvey lewis i have no idea who that is and then a new target ornament yay so those will be in i don't know christmas mystery boxes or something here is a cute little wooden box here is the, my house is clean enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy sign. Oh, these, yeah, from Israel. Original design, fine porcelain, hand-casted, Naaman, N-A-A-M-A-N, -A -A Israel. These go for a good amount of money. I got the little pink vase, the really pretty tin. This piece that I need to do some research on, the plates, the cup. Unfortunately, the cup, when I um, took the tag off, we did lose some gold. I soaked it and everything. Actually, it's dripping still because it's a little bit wet, but 
we lost a little bit of gold on one side so that's unfortunate this cradle i don't know what it goes to yet but when it has those really nice wooden handles um yes please we got the candlesticks these do not actually match the ones that i got a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago but they're very similar and it's still a pair so i'll just sell those as a pair the millie fiori bolaconte cup the aura fours crystal bowl which is worth a ton of money i did get the little mini lamp shade because these are very useful and you never know when you're going to find a lamp that needs a little clip on mini lampshade this wooden little tray deal and then the most beautiful books i've ever seen in my life this one this looks like it should be a book of spells tennyson's poems illustrated did i even look up the date on it hmm so fragile no no date not sure but We got the magic trick book. Look at those graphics on the inside. Oh, it's amazing. Love it. The two nature guide books. I know people collect these. I love the covers of those. I'm gonna use my undo to try to get those pieces off. And then the Marcella Raggedy Ann story. This one's in kind of rough shape, but Oh, look at the pictures. We forgive it, right? Well, we forgive the... There's more pictures than that. She just happened to jump past them. It's just, it's kind of coming apart, but it can still display really nicely. Especially the front cover. Plus the big military uh, ammunition crate thing that Blake liked. It was a pretty good score. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable day at Savers. All right. Thanks for watching this thrifty quickie and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.